So today I have a charger for you that will hopefully alleviate some of the stress when it comes to charging your LiPo batteries. Hi, I'm Chris. I do camera and drone tech reviews. So today we're going to be talking about the Toolkit RC M4 AC Smart Charger. Let's get some things out of the way that will help you understand when it comes to charging these batteries. I think one of the first things we got to talk about is LiPo batteries in general. LiPo stands for lithium polymer. In a nutshell, it's basically a different form of energy storage. They come in all types of shapes, sizes. Let's talk about the different parts. Basically, you have the battery part itself. This is the lithium polymer part. And then there's two leads here, these wires sticking out. You'll, you'll run into two different versions of the, the XT30 and the XT60. They run micros, so most of them run on XT30s. And then there's this balanced charger cable. The furthest black wire is the negative wire. And then let's just go into the numbers. 4.2 volts is a typical battery voltage for a LiPo. 3.85 is going to be your storage charge. Today we're going to be looking at a Toolkit RC M4 AC Smart Charger. This charges anywhere from 2S to 4S. This thing can do charging and discharging. It comes in XT60 and XT30. So just make sure you look at what your needs are and then the balanced charger port. This one you can plug directly into a standard wall outlet. It has a screen here and one button operation. That's as simple as it gets. First, you just plug it into your wall. So if we're gonna charge the battery, we're gonna go long press this, 4.2 volts. So if you do single press, you're gonna notice it's gonna cycle through. It's gonna be 0.5 amps at the lowest, one amp, two amps, and then 2.5 amps. So all you need to know before charging is the capacity of your battery. So in this case, I have plugged in a 450 milliamp. Now, here's your map. 1000 milliamps into one amp. So what you want to charge is as close to the number you can. So this is 0.5 amps is equal to 500 milliamps. One amp is 1000 milliamps. So in this case, this is 450 milliamps. So what you want to be charging at is 0.5 amps. I have a different size here. This is a 650 milliamp. And since there's no 650, 0.5, you want to charge to the lowest one. It's going to be at 0.5 as well. But if you had a 1000 milliamp battery, you want to charge at one amp. You want to charge at the lowest amp equivalent. Once you have those two set up, it'll pretty much take care of itself. This is a 2S. You're going to know there's two cells here, cell one, cell two. It says the amp that you're charging at, which is the bottom. It's also highlighted. It should reflect what's at the top. And then the percentage. The top tells you how long it's been charging for. It's says charge, it says it's completed. It'll tell you how long it charged. It's not charging the battery anymore. Unlike some of the older chargers where it just continues to charge and possibly overcharge your battery. But one of the great things is you can just look at it visually. And if you notice that the numbers are relatively the same, that means it's balanced charge. So would I recommend this product? And I'm gonna say yes, 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 yes. As somebody who's relatively new into the hobby, I definitely would recommend checking this out. I feel it eliminates most of the questions or pressures that come into charging one of these LiPos, especially you can do it safely. This has uh, met all my needs. Yeah, we'll just end here, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate the help. If you guys found this useful, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and finally, fly safe, be safe. See you guys next time. Bye.